Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Widener News. I'm Samira Allen. And I'm Mitchell Mackesey. There has been a lot of talk about a video that went viral right here on our campus. On Saturday, Widener students had their annual Cat Cross celebration. Video surfaced of an altercation between a student and a Chester police officer, which shows the officer striking the student in the face. The incident has sparked a police investigation. The School of Engineering has unveiled a new robotics engineering laboratory. The state-of-the-art facility was created with support from alumni Alan J. Criswell. Students will have access to hands-on learning with the new technology. Widener's Business Administration School announced their Business Center Success Lab has been named SAP, Next Gen Lab. The lab is known for its innovative design, thinking, and analytics. The space allows for students, faculty, business consultants, and others to find solutions to help clients start or grow their businesses. Now for a look at Widener Sports, here's Sonny Fimple. Thanks so much, Samir. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sonny Fimple bringing you all the latest sports news from the week. Now, the ladies' softball squad continues their hot streak and brought out the brooms on Sunday for the clean sweep against Penn State Abington. Anna Robinson and Allie McDowell each hit their first career home runs. Carly and Benozic finished the day with six hits and three RBIs. Widener's on the road this afternoon as they travel down to Dover, Delaware to square off against Wesley College. Pride Baseball, however, continues to struggle to gain momentum after their return from the Florida Spring Break trip. They dropped Saturday's doubleheader opener 4-3 and had a 3-0 shutout loss in Game 2 against conference rival Alvernia. Kay Jones had a fantastic outing for Widener in Game 1, striking out a career-best eight hitters, but that still was not enough to secure the win for the Pride. The Pride, however, are back in action today at number 8 ranked Swarthmore. Yeah, while well, the Phillies are not looking to get local slugger Mike Trout anytime soon as he finalized a 12-year, $430 million extension with the Angels this afternoon, per ESPN sources. This deal will potentially keep Trout a halo through the 2030 season. The Phillies opened the regular season on March 28th against last year's NL Conference winner, Atlanta Braves. The Sixers are in action tonight against Charlotte with a 7 p.m. tip-off as they continue their playoff push, and the Flyers host the Montreal Canadiens tonight at the Big Joint in Philly as well. Well, that's all for this week's Widener Sports Update. Once again, I'm Sonny Fimble bringing you all the hottest campus and professional sports update from around. Now back to Mitch and Samir for more news, guys. Thank you, Sonny. A post-university graduate was killed in front of his own home in Philadelphia's Logan neighborhood. Eric Perry recently graduated with a degree in sports management. Loved ones are mourning his death and are hoping that police can find out who the gunman is. Safian Williams is accused of raping several women in South Philadelphia. Williams is infected with HIV and was charged with three rapes and an assault. All of the victims who came forward are being offered counseling and medical care. President Donald Trump announced that his administration has grounded Boeing's 737 MAX 8 planes. The United States became the last country to ground the planes after two catastrophic crashes. Other countries that grounded the aircraft include China, Britain, France, and Germany. Now let's head over to Andrew Proctor for this week's weather forecast. Thanks, Mitch and Samira. I'm Andrew Proctor. Welcome to this week's Widener Weather. Uh, as you can see, we had some really sunny skies today as temperatures reached a high of 45. Throughout the rest of the week, we can expect temperatures to stay above 50s. Uh, we may be looking at some thunderstorms on Thursday and Friday, but this weekend they'll clear out for more sunny skies, and we can expect temperatures to stay above uh, the 60s. Um, this is all I have for Widener Weather. Back to Mitch and Samira. Thanks, Andrew. New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern vowed gun law changes just three days after the rampage at two mosques in Christchurch. Ardern held an emergency meeting Monday to discuss a plan to reform the country's gun laws. Beto O'Rourke reported raising more than $6.1 million during the first 24 hours of his presidential campaign. The donation set a record haul that dwarfs anyone else in the 2020 field. The Democratic candidate is scheduled to campaign this week in Michigan and Ohio. That's all we have for you this week on Wider News. I'm Samira Allen. And I'm Mitchell Mackesey. Thanks for watching.